Okay, here we go. This video is about the RJB D105 LTD, aka Lefty Zimbabwean Denim. Let me have a quick look at the tag up there. There you go. Probably get a better look at this later. So these jeans have been getting quite regular wear for I think all of last year. At least weekend wear when possible and uh, during the week to work as an office warrior and jumping around a little bit. Stitching's holding up really nicely. It's getting some really good roping coming through in the yoke there. The difference between other pairs of jeans, if you look at, I'm looking at the detail on the belt loop, is it's only the center of the belt loop that fades quickly in Fighthead and RGB denim. I'm not really seeing the colors come through that well. Let's see if I can get a better look. There we go. Still not perfect. Go lighting. All right, let's see what we can get from the front. Didn't think to do the buttons up. That'll do. Focus, come on, focus. There we go. All right, so that's my sugar cane belt. That was natural, it's now probably coming up four years old. There we go, looking from the front. You can see it's starting to break in. There you go. Now you're starting to get some good looking colour. So what you're looking at right now is the colour that they look like to me when I'm wearing them, or when I'm looking at them naturally. That's right on point colour wise. So it's got that nice vertical fade that you expect from, or that you, you're used to with uh, Fighthead and RGB denim. That's very chattery and very noisy as well. It's quite inconsistent, which is in a very nice surprise. Look at those details. And this is throughout the throughout the jeans. It's still got that slightly grey cast to it, but it's definitely a lot bluer. There you go, there's a nice view of the blue. It has these weird kind of shuttle loom chatter, I guess you'd call it. Let's see if I can pull some out. Alright, back down to here. That bit there that hasn't faded the same as this bit and that bit. I think there's something to do with the lefty denim. But it's throughout, you can tell that the, the fibers used here, or the cotton used here, is uh, it's some kind of blend or some kind of mix or something. It's not just this one flat denim, it's got a lot of texture to it. And its tonality and its range is huge. Look at that. You've got one thread to the right that's uh, faded nothing faded a little bit more really really nice looking denim quick look at the salvage he's going on I guess that's about it for this pair what I was really trying to show is how, uh, I guess, the vertical fading and how uneven it is when you zoom in on a specific pot. Spot, not pot. The pocket stitching is holding it really nice. This is a detail I hadn't noticed initially. It's double stitched, which I've come to appreciate more with time. The structure of the pocket's holding it really nicely and it's got some really nice weight to it. I also quite like that, that it's stitched in on the inside. The, the double stitching, it's not so obvious that it is double stitched. Can't tell at all. But it's uh, holding up really nicely. Popping over here, just really quickly. I don't think there's much to see. There you go, bit of salvage, but you can't so much. Buttons are oxidizing. Yes, I didn't think I was going to be showing that, but seeing them here. There you go, so the buttons are starting to do their thing. By buttons, I mean rivets. You get the idea. Cool, alright, enjoy, have a good one.